Hi, Kasha. Thanks for having me. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. It really is a pleasure to have you. Um, she is with the Cuba Semiconductor and will be telling us about that all important topic of red, uh, red uh, micro LEDs for AR VR applications. So we're really looking forward to your presentation. Whenever you're ready, uh, you can begin and uh, we look forward to it. And I wish you good luck. Thank you, Kasha. Yes, I'll just switch over to presentation mode now. All right. Thank you. So hello everybody, my name is Caroline O'Brien, I'm CEO of QBOS Semiconductors and today I'm going to share with you um, our development and plans for achieving baseline efficiency for AR VR applications. As we know today it's limited by the red micro LED issue and this is the area QBOS is uh, solving and um, bringing out a, a more efficient solution, an energy efficient solution in the red micro LED space. So a little bit of history of QBOS first. Um, so effectively, we were spun out of the materials department from the University of Cambridge, and QBOS was formed in 2017. We're currently headquartered in Cambridge, but we will be opening office shortly in South Wales. We operate a fabulous semiconductor model, which is based on the silicon semiconductor model, where we outsource all of our manufacturing development and test. This makes sure that we keep our capital expenditure really light. So we're developing a platform which is focusing currently on visible light LED applications. It's all based around our qubit GAN material and we believe we can be more efficient for red micro LEDs and I'll share with, with you some of the background and the work that we've done so far. The added advantage is with being more energy, energy efficient, we could save millions of tons of carbon emissions and we've done some calculations, particularly in large scale LEDs. So we're, as mentioned, we are actually a, a platform material technology. And whilst our first focus is on displays and micro LED displays specifically, we also have opportunity in the future for visible light applications and also communications. So what is the QBOS technology? Effectively, we developed qubit GAN on a silicon carbide substrate on silicon. So we actually use cubic silicon carbide and this is a low this has a low lattice mismatch between the substrate and the cubic GAN, which helps us force the cubic GAN material. The real trick to what we do and the secret to what QBOS is achieving here is that we actually manufacture on a standard MOCVD reactor. In terms of the um, cubic GAN specifically, we it will be recognized as similar to hexagonal GAN in terms of the structure, but also how we add indium to go to the longer wavelengths in the quantum wells. So in terms of how we go forward, the cubic GAN structure is effectively um, based on a silicon platform. And we think this has real opportunity for a CMOS technology integration in the future. So what are the benefits of cubic GAN over hexagonal GAN? Effectively, QBOS believes that we can be better in all aspects um, than hexagonal GAN in the future. So this is the biggest revolution in LEDs for nearly 30 years. The reason is because we eliminate the electric fields, which is known as the quantum confined Stark effect um, in the material. As you can see from these little cartoons, the symmetry provides effectively that the overlap of the electron and hole functions, which means that we can get more light emissions. So the radiative emissions and the effect is increased. In terms of going to the longer wavelengths, and I'll touch on this in a later slide, but we actually need less indium to give the longer wavelength emissions. And that's really important because it's quite challenging to integrate indium in the quantum wells. We also can uh, effectively produce thicker quantum wells, and we've also got a smaller uh, band gap to start with over hexagonal GAN. Looking at added benefits as we go forward, there's also the opportunity to reduce the droop. So as we apply more current, we don't get this roll off effect that you see in hexagonal GAN LEDs. We also see that there's a faster switching. So our basically our um, recombination so our carrier lifetimes are shorter and we're seeing that we can get faster switching times this could bring 2x times 2x switching speeds um, to many applications which is why in the future we'll be targeting communications LEDs and replacing hexagonal GAN with qubit GAN 
one of the key important areas in micro LED displays is also spectral drift. So we're not expecting as large as a blue shift 